I have to tell you guys that one of the things that I hate most about meeting guys or meeting people are people who are too nice. Because being too nice, I know that they're actually liars. For me, being nice is okay. Being too nice is overextending yourself. It's funny how I see so many videos out there on nice guys finish last, Nice guys are this, nice guys are that. Even me, I say things about nice guys. But the only reason why I say nice guys is because I know that nice guys are liars. They are absolutely too nice. That's actually what I mean by being, by being a nice guy. It's like being a guy that's too nice about himself, what he wants. Because he's lying to himself in his process. For me, I, I've went through a track of being too nice, then being really mean, and then being the way I am now. So I've seen it from the view of the white knight. And the white knight is, of course, a man who's trying to save women from their pain. And, or even a man who's trying to save others from pain. From, you know, every single time that I tried to save people from pain, I always knew that I was giving more of my energy than I wanted to. I was lying to the other person. I really didn't want to save them from their pain. I really didn't want to save them from their experience that they were having. It's just a part of me that felt that, okay, since I'm a good person or since I'm a friend, I better take on some of their baggage. Since this girl likes me and I've told her that, you know what, you could just talk to me whenever you're going through, th going through something. I better own up to it. But where did that leave me though? On the inside. Because remember, it's always about your experience. What did that experience lead you to? So I know you guys have many experiences like this. If you're somebody who has a background of being too nice or you're currently too nice, you definitely have a experience in your life or many experiences that fed you that you should overextend yourself right now because if you don't, that means that you're not nice. And every single time you went through that process of, okay, I better do this because that means that I'm not nice or that would mean that I'm not nice to this person or to this woman. You, built, you kept building that thread within yourself that you need to give more than what you actually want to give. And this thread is deadly. It's a deadly, deadly thread. Because as you fall into it, it becomes a part of you. Because at, cause you start to believe, okay, now that I'm following this uh, way of being, it's going to get, them, get me the results that I want. Because one of the strongest things that a person have when they're talking to somebody or in front of people is the desire for their approval. That's one of the strongest things that a person has. The reason why is because we've been taught that the approval of others makes us who we are. When somebody tells us that you're okay, then you're okay. When you're in front of people and you say something that you want to say and they don't like it, that means that you're not okay in that moment. But when you say things that people like around you, they mean that you are okay. Do you see how the feedback from the world has been leading you into these ways. They've been leading you into overextending yourself and being too nice. And that's, lead, that's led you to, be, to being a liar. Lie is a very strong word because it means that you're someone who doesn't trust yourself. That means that you're someone who is very is very repulsive to a woman or to others lie is a strong word but that's something you've been living out you've been living out a lie all you guys who really want women in your life but you're not willing to go up to them and tell them the truth of how you feel you're living out a lie all of you men out there who have been around your friends and they treat you any kind of way and you just allow them to treat you like that and on the inside you know you want to express something you're living out a lie where are the lies in your life that you need to clear up? I'm not perfect. I've definitely been in this path. I have been in this path of living out a lie. 
But in living out this lie, what it started to let me understand is everybody really wants to live out truth. Everybody. The woman you meet, yourself, your friends, your family, everybody wants to live out truth. It's just there is no clear example that truth is the way of being because every single time we see truth in its purest form, we go, truth hurts. There's all these word, things that's attached to truth. Truth hurts. When you're being truthful, make sure that you're not uh, stepping on people's toes. Don't rock the boat with others by saying things that don't make them feel good. And that's when I go, truth hurts, because when you say that, then people call you mean. Like, or they make up these weird words that they put together, like brutally honest. This is actually something that's not a thing. Being brutally honest is not a thing. It's just honesty. They actually put these two words together to make it seem like there's one level of honesty and then there's another level of honesty. I'm like, okay, there actually is honesty, of course, in its different ways. But the real thing behind honesty or truth for anyone is, are you being truthful out of hurt? Are you being truthful because you want, you want the person to feel the hurt that you feel? Are you angry and then you become truthful? In that moment, you're actually not becoming truthful. You're trying to say something to hurt them. That means that the intent behind it is a harmful intent. But when you're saying things with the, pure, with the purity of truth itself, it may harm the other person or they may perceive that or they may, it actually doesn't harm them. They may perceive it as harm. It just strikes a chord inside of them. That's all it does. And I'm not saying that this style of honesty is good and this style of honesty is good, no. I'm saying for yourself, what is the way that you really want to be truthful? That's what you want to connect to. Guys have gotten so far away from that just because they go, okay, since James does it like this, I'm going to be truthful like this. Since Roger Allen Curry does it like this, I'm going to be truthful like this. Since Tony does it like this, I'm going to do it like this. But have you noticed that if you look at all the way that, that we are, all the ways we are, you'll notice that we're very different. That's because we're operating from what's true for us. And some of us, we believe that this is the best way. Some of us believe that this is the best way. So for you, I'm never going to tell you as a guy who has nice guy tendencies that this way is the best or that way is the best. What I want to say to you is, what do you really want to express in that moment that's truthful for you? Why are you lying so much to the people around you? And it hurts you. That's the thing about it. Your lying benefits everybody, but it doesn't benefit you. And every single time you want to benefit yourself, you have to struggle against, is this going to benefit the next person? Is it going to benefit the girl I'm in front of? When in essence, you want to get people who love you for the way you speak your own truth. You don't want to get people who love you for speaking the truth that's going to adhere to their way of being or make them feel good. You don't want people like that. The people who are like that are people who are manipulative. They actually want you to be something for them. And most people are actually walking around wanting people to be things for them. They're like, all right, this is the way that I accept truth. That's something, this is not conscious many of the time, it's unconscious. They're like, if somebody is very truthful like this, I don't want to deal with them because I mean they're fucking mean. But if somebody's truthful like this, you know what? That's what I like. That fits to me. And they accept that person. And then the other person, maybe the other person is, they feel like, okay, I don't want a person who lies to me. But here's a contradiction. I don't want a person who lies to me, but I also don't want a person who's too truthful. Do you see what it is? They, they actually want the middle. That's what they want. They want the middle or whatever it makes them feel good. They've actually meshed them two together and they're going, all right, you know what? This makes me feel the best, so that's what I accept. And most people are walking around like this. But <clears throat> when you're just living in what's true for you and you can express your true experience in any moment. This doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, and this doesn't matter. What matters is what, what you're expressing. You're not worried about anything in between because what you're expressing is going to draw to you, this, doesn't even, this is actually illusions, it's gonna to draw to you women who want you for you. 
Now, don't get me wrong. There's going to be times where you meet a woman where you will need to calibrate the intensity of how truthful you're being. There's a difference between calibrating the intensity of your truth than completely leaving your truth alone and going, all right, I got to shift and mold myself to this girl. So when I'm speaking to a girl, one of the things I do is that in the first moments that I say hello to her, I'm filling into what's happening for her, which means I'm filling into what is this girl's way of being and what is her way of speaking. I go hello and I may give her a compliment and as she's speaking to me, maybe she's really, really nervous and scared. But I can feel underneath that she's quite just a lovely girl, but she's just nervous and scared about what's happening. So what I do is that I'm allowing myself to, okay, calibrate the intensity of how truthful I'm being. I might go, with her, I might go, uh, you know, um, I know this is so strange, and I don't mean to, you know, make you scared, but you look wonderful. And my whole face and everything is completely tailored to, okay, what is going to make this woman feel more comfortable because my intent, of course, is to relax her. But the only way a woman can relax is into a man's truth. Now, it's not the hard truth. It's the truth that's going to be able to, that he can give in that moment that, is, that fits the moment. It's not a truth that's like, all right, how do I be truthful in this way that's going to be able to make the girl have sex with me? No, it's I'm being truthful in this moment <clears throat> in the way that I know the girl can handle. Because another girl, I can go up to her and I can say, excuse me. And she might go, yeah. And she hits me and I can feel that this woman has an intensity to her. I may go, I don't know who you are, but I just know you look fucking great. And she may go, thank you. What's your name? And she may present to me that she's very clear. Now, if a girl presents that to me, I'm going to be just as clear as her. I'm going to give her the truth of the intensity that she needs. Because if I was to be less than that, she wouldn't want me because she'll think I'm too weak. If I was to be more than that, she would know that I'm overstepping my boundaries and that's not even my way of being. This is where you have the guy trying to impress. But if I'm just as I am and I'm calibrating and I'm allowing myself to fit to the mold of, okay, this is the intensity this woman needs, what she will do naturally is that she'll relax. She'll feel a relatability in her heart with this man. She'll be like, this is a mate for me. She really will feel that. She'll be like, this is somebody that I can open to. This is somebody I can relax into myself around because he's willing to match me. And this makes me think about the girls I've had in my life and the girls who've been like really intense where, or had this intensity about them at a time while I've been with them where I had to match it. Do you see what I'm getting at? Living out your truthful way of being is the way you really want to live. Being a liar that you are, it's not your nature. It is not your natural way of being. If you connect to your natural way of being, you will notice that you can see truth. You can live truth and be okay with that. But right now you have so much clutter on top. The stripping away is now the process you need to go into. Let's say you're a guy and you see a woman on the street. And what you're used to is all these nice guy ways. The very first nice guy way that many guys are used to is hiding. They're used to just hiding. Hiding the things about them that they want to show. This stems literally at everything. This is why I say this is the first nice guy way. All the other things, yeah, but this is actually the first nice guy way. It's the hiding. When you are alone, you're somebody. When you're in front of people, you're somebody else. The hiding is the thing that you now need to strip away. But how do you strip away in hiding? It's not about going up to women now and just be like, let's fuck. That's not the hiding that I'm telling you to get away with. What I'm saying is, when you see a woman on the street or anywhere, what I want you to do is, I want you to understand and live within that moment that anything that you want to express to her, anything, you must willing to be expressive about that, whether she likes it or not. And this brings me to a drill that I used to do for guys that I'm gonna give you guys. 
all right? And I still do sometimes. This is what I would say. When you walk into a girl on the street, I want you to do this. Let's say you see a girl there and you like her. And then you're like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I don't know what I should do to this, this, and this. What happens is you actually go into the future and go, what's gonna happen? Will she like me? She's, a, she's in a rush. Or you go in the past. I remember that one girl I talked to, oh man, fuck man, I, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't work out today. You start, all these things literally start coming into your uh, world of view because it's, it's, it's there to keep you safe. But once you strip away the future and the past, you're now nakedly fresh in the moment. And that is a fucking scary thing. That's when all the tension starts to come. Because you're having to deal with both of these tensions on both sides of you, releasing them but allowing them to still be there. Because in the present moment, actually nothing exists inside of you. When you're truly present to yourself, purely present, nothing exists. <clears throat> you see the girl, and you allow yourself to go, fuck, all right. I don't know what's gonna happen, but this is what I'm gonna focus on. And this is what I tell guys. I'm gonna focus on the act of expressing myself to this woman, and I'm gonna let go whether she likes me, whether I get the number, whether it goes good. I'm just gonna focus on going up and saying the thing that I need to say. I'm gonna focus on moving through the interaction in a direction that I know I wanna take it. You know you wanna take the interaction from meet to wherever you are right now, whether you can go to an instant date or to a date, to sex. You know that you want to do that thread. That is the thread you actually want to walk. Stay true to that thread. That is, a, that is why you're there. You want to eventually lead it to sexual, sexuality in some way. And this is totally fine. <clears throat> and if a woman ever tells you that it's not fine, then she's disconnected from what she wants. Because why do men and women meet? They meet so they can fucking mate. Really. They meet so they can have a connection, but that connection leads to them fucking. That's what it leads to. So, you see the girl, totally forget about what will happen. And I tell guys to do this on workshop, and they're always amazed about what happened. They're amazed at the fact that they can walk up to a woman, say anything they want to, and just let her deal with what she's gonna deal with. Because that's the thing about it. You don't wanna be taking on what the girl's gonna deal with. Of course, you can allow yourself to pull it back and go, okay, that was too much, I can pull it back, I can go, okay, I know right now that she needs to be relaxed because she's a bit scared. Yes, those are the things that you can control as well because you are making the experience more enjoyable for her because in relaxation, that's when everything can happen. But totally forget about, if you're afraid to go up, totally forget about if she'll like you. I don't even want, I don't even want her to like you. Just let what happens, happen. Don't worry about getting a number. Yeah, you want to move it towards sex, but don't worry about getting a number. Don't worry about if it'll go good. Just see what it's like when I walk up and I nakedly say what I want to say. When I, in this moment, present moment freshness, express what I want to express. What happens? I told one guy to do this and I was like, bro, I don't care if you say, you know what, I don't know who you are, but I just know that I'm attracted to you and I was wondering, would you like to have sex? I was like, bro, you can say whatever it is that you want right now. Of course, we're never gonna have you say that later, but if you need to start showing the thing you're afraid of, because hiding is the reason why you're watching this video. Hiding is the reason why you're going through all the stresses you're going through because the desires that come up inside of us are natural things, but as people and as men, we make them unnatural. And making them unnatural, you can see what happens. Feel it in yourself. What happens? When you stop being natural to the things that happen inside of you. So that's the first one that I want you guys to do. The stripping away, which is the hiding. Just doing that drill. Expressing whatever it is you want to express, the truth of whatever it is, and don't worry about what happens. And the second thing that I'm gonna leave you guys with uh, to learning how to come into truth and stop being a liar is to now go back through all the times that you specifically know that you were lying in the way that you were being and in the way you were speaking. Go back and I want you to start to go into introspection about it. 
which means allow yourself to go inside and really go, where are the times in my life or the times even today that I know that I've been not truthful? Where are they? <clears throat> and many times you'll find that the same places you're playing out the same thing. When you first meet a woman, maybe you have a tendency to go up and say hello, and then you just say, I think you look beautiful. But you actually don't feel like she's beautiful. It's funny when I see guys do this on workshop. I go, there's a girl right there. He goes, all right, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> stop, man. What do you like about her? Then he goes, I don't know. I go, look at the girl. What do you like about the girl? <clears throat> You're forgetting that these tools right here allows you to see truth. What is the truth of what I like about this woman? I like the fact that she has an amazing shape. I like the fact that her bag and her shoes match. I like the fact that I can see that everything on her is very neat and tidy. Maybe she's an organized person, whatever it is. What do you like about this woman? As you feast your eyes on a woman and you find out what you like about her, now go tell her and see how easy it becomes and see how she responds to it. Women respond strongly in their heart to truth. They hate and are repulsed by lie. They can feel the energy of lying. They can. That's why when a man goes up to a girl and say, you look sexy, and she don't feel the truth behind it, it doesn't hit her. But when a man really feels it and he goes up and says it, she'll respond. She will. And she won't respond by saying, thank you. I mean, she may say that, but her body will light up in a different way. Because her body responds to truth. It does. The truth of a man, that's what it responds to. So, maybe that was a point where you didn't allow yourself to be truthful. Maybe today you were at fucking work and you knew in this moment when, you're, when the guy said, hey man, let's go to Subway, you didn't want to fucking go to Subway. That's a very simple. You didn't want to go to Subway. But you did it just because you didn't want him to think that you were a mean person by not going. I had a guy that I was coaching one-on-one, -on -one, and he said even, even when he's choosing to go somewhere to eat, he said that he doesn't want to make the other person mad. He doesn't want them to think that he's un he doesn't care. It was something that he said. And I was like, bro, you don't want to go eat that. If you go eat that, you will feel bad. You are telling this man that I can't make my own choice. That's what you're telling him without telling him. So you want to start to look at, okay, what are, what are the points in my past that I can see that are consistently my issue? As those points show up, what I want you to do is that I want you to set up for the next time those things happen, that you act differently in that moment. This is the best way to do it. Set it up. Once you set it up and then you act differently, you now start to build a new pattern. But it is work. You have to understand that it is fucking work. It is not just do it one time and you're gone. No. It is work. It is. But just the act of you understanding, of just the realization. Right now it's an uh, intellectual understanding. But as you start to live it out, you start to understand that truth is much more enjoyable and much more fulfilling to you than lying. I tell you guys this because... I care so much about you guys not lying. I care so much about you guys being truthful. When you stop the truth that's inside of you, you stop you from being you. And that's why I'm here. To show you guys that being you is the way. You're not a liar, man. You're not. You never were. You just condition yourself into ways that you believe are benefiting you. And deep down, you know that it's not. Wake up. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom.
And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.